I'm reading here from John, and it says, John 15, 8, Herein is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. So, if we're bearing much fruit, then we're his disciples and bringing glory and glorifying the Father. And that is because it brings us back to the original purpose of our life, is to, to bear his image, to be made in his image, and to live the way he would live, and to be a replica of him, a clone of God. And to bear much fruit means that you're a tree, and you have many branches reaching out into the world, some branches reaching up into heaven, you got branches reaching down into the valleys, up the mountains, you know, there's people up in the mountains, people in the valleys, there's people there everywhere, and they all can grab onto your they, got, they can see your tree and grab a fruit off your tree and eat a part of your life and be blessed and nourished. You know, that's what fruit does. It nourishes you, it energizes you, keeps you going. It puts a smile on your face. It cleans you. You know, you eat an orange, it, it purifies you. Cleans, cleans away the toxins. And it's very tasty. It's pleasant. And that's what the fruit is all about and bearing much fruit for Christ because Christ has planted the seed of himself into your heart and now you're growing he's growing within you and you're producing fruit for everyone to eat you know so that's what we want to be doing we want to be investing into the world into the kingdom into people's lives and teaching someone that is a way to give them fruit you know, praying for someone, studying with someone, keeping a Bible on you so when you're out on the streets you can say, hey, would you like to read a little bit of the Bible with me? Or hey, do you know Jesus? There's all kinds of important things that we can do to produce fruit. And this is how we are his disciples, by producing much fruit. And in John 15:5, he says, without me you can do nothing. Right? So it's all depending on Him, on His guidance, His strength, His love, His mercy. We know He's given us so much mercy. He's forgiven us of our past sins, given us a new life, set our feet on solid ground, as they say. And He hopes that we will produce fruit and bless His kingdom that his kingdom will not be empty, that he will not have died in vain.